what is it, what was it about these three guys that uh, that, that led them to become part of the, the captain contingency? Of the yeah. Well, I think anytime you decide who your captains are, they're obviously your leaders. They're the guys that do things the right way, um, both in school, away from the rink. Um, at the rink and represent the program the right way and you know these three guys are also guys that are going to be big parts of our team's success this year and you know we look to them to be guys that uh, you know set the tone in the locker room set the tone in practice set the tone in the games and uh, we think that these three guys uh, exemplify Nana Kaki and the way they are as players as people and uh, we're certainly proud to name them our captains this year. Input that I guess you guys have in the selection process, or did you like leave moments to play with? Or was like a pick and pick? Yeah, it's something that we do with our program when we're selecting captains like part of our you know development of having them here is developing leaders and you know everyone uh, has a different understanding so we try and educate guys on leadership what it is how maybe you can lead as the type of person that you are um, and being a member of a team not everybody's going to lead the same way and I think that uh, you know we do look for um, feedback from our players it's not a vote um, it's really an understanding of uh, you know an evaluation of what they feel their leadership qualities are what they think they're uh, weaknesses are that they have to work on. I think also, uh, you know, we do get feedback on, on who they think would be good captains for this group of people. And, uh, you know, so it's a bit of a process. I, I really enjoyed that part of it this year. I thought that, uh, you know, you look at, you know, you're always looking for development and I keep the feedback we get every year. And you're certainly seeing a group of guys that uh, are understanding, uh, you know, what leadership is and uh, how they're going to help be good leaders for our team. Describe uh, uh, this group the uh, leadership style. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, it's another thing you look at. You look at the personalities that they each are. You know, I think that uh, you know, raise a raise a pretty. Uh, you know, intimidating guy, I think, with his stature, but I think he's a guy that's very personable, um, certainly a guy that works hard, um, represents and respects uh, the program, he rep respects all of his teammates. I think Tyler's a guy that has a bit more edge to his personality. Um, I think you can see that in the way that he plays, um, but I think he also, uh, you know, like Colton, has, trem has tremendous respect for his teammates. And, you know, Garrick is a guy that, you know, um, if you looked at where his career was as a freshman, as a sophomore, you know, and the progression that he's had last year was a big year for him. And, you know, we, we respect that. You know, he took the information that he was given at the end of the year and, you know, he needed to um, develop better habits both as a student, as an athlete. You know, certainly his intent was good. Um, he cares about the program, cares about the, team, the success of the team. Um, you know, but I think when you see a guy grow the way that he has, I think he brings a different element to the to the leadership group. But you know, we, we talk to our guys. We got formal leaders that we just put C's and A's on. We also have informal leaders, and and that's everybody else. We got to find a way to add value. We need everybody to be leaders, and you know, um, you know, you win in your locker room before you win on the ice. And, and we think we got a good group of guys to do that. Any expectations with these two, or is it you know just business as well? Yeah, I mean, I think that's you're you're, you're selected as a captain based on your body of work. You know, we're not selecting you as a captain with the hope that you do this. You know, we want them to continue um, leading by example. We want them to continue by um, being there for their teammates and represent their teammates the right way. Um, you know, and so, uh, no, it's, it's just keep being who you are. Don't change who you are. That's not why we selected you to be a captain. That's not why we selected you to be with this program. We selected it for who you are. And, um, you know, they're like everyone else too. They're going to go through some um, growth and be informal leaders. I know Colton was last year, but you know what? Every pretty much, I would say, 90% of the guys on our team have been a captain, assistant captain in the junior teams they were at. So um, these guys all understand what it is to to be leaders, and um, you know we're excited about that.